Does penny size really matter? So many people are anxious, worried about their penny size. They think that the partner will be unsatisfied, their girlfriend will be not satisfied because of their penny size and they are very much worried about it. So I'll be talking about this myself, Dr. Deepak Kirekar, psychiatrist, sexologist, de addiction specialist and hypnotherapist, practicing at Akola Maharashtra for the last 41 years. Lot many calls occur online, offline, people meet and they are worried about their penis length and girth and size of the penis. So many researchers have worked on this. There are so many studies and actually the studies infer that size really doesn't matter. The average size of the penis when it is flaccid in various studies was found between 2.8 to 3.9 inches. Flaccid penis, lax penis and erect penis it was 4.7 to 6.3 inches in length. Actually more or less the girth is same or little less than the length of the penis. In one study 77% of females they said that the length of the penis really doesn't matter or is not important to them. 21% of the females they said that the size really matters for them but actually not the length but the girth or the width of the penis matters to them. They would enjoy more much more than what they enjoyed if the girth would have been bigger than what it was. 45 out of 50 females in one study reported that the width was more important to them than the length of the penis. In one study, the long term relationship with a partner versus one time relationship with partner. So that was studied. So the females were asked who are having long term relationship with partner and they were having short term relationship or one time relationship with another partner. And now the difference was the females having a long term relationship with one partner they said size really doesn't matter to them, they preferred even smaller size. But with one time relationship with a new partner, that time they wanted more length or the girth of the penis. This is very interesting. Now this length of the penis issue, length of the penis issue occurs because of the pawn industry. In pawn industry, actually actors they act, actually people are chosen who have got bigger lengths of the penis. like elongated penis maybe around 7, 8, 9 inches their penis actually is longer than the normal one they are taken they are giving given injections and then because of the pawn videos people think that their size is lesser than what it is actually that is not normal size that is an abnormal size actually speaking now uh, what matters if size is less actually size is not less because when they were taken for studies and followed up they said that actually the size did not matter to them. They compared their size with the people on a public urinating platform or at public place where they saw the other people urinating and the size of the penis. And then they thought that their penis is smaller. People think when they have got small penis and it is only the thought, actually it is not smaller, their self image is down, they have got fear of rejection. They think that they can't impress the partner and then there will be a problem. So actually it is not the case. The vaginal sensitivity inside it is around one and a half to two inches. So whatever is the length of the penis, if it is asked to the female partner how long was the penis, she will say one and a half inch. Because however it goes inside, she will not feel the sensitivity inside and she will say that is one and a half inch. Even if it is 4 inch, she will say it is 1 and a half. Even if it is 6, she will say 1 and a half. So the length of the penis doesn't really matter. People think that the size or the length of the penis is smaller because they see from up, upward view. So the, they are like, they are standing like I am sitting here and now I am looking at my penis from above. There is a lot of fat about the base of the penis and the penis gets engulfed into that fat. And now I think that my penis is smaller. Actually, it is the fat which is hiding the penis and then the person feels that the penis is small. So if the fat loss is done or the weight or the obesity is reduced, then naturally the penis will be seen as a longer penis. There also is not relationship with masturbation. People think that they have masturbated a lot and because of the masturbation their size is smaller. Actually, it is not at all related.
Masturbation is a totally normal process. Masturbation doesn't cause reduction of the length of the penis. So in short, the length of the penis doesn't matter. If at all it matters, it is the width or the girth of the penis matters because some ladies they said that they would be more happy if the width of the girth would have been bigger than what it was. So be assured, rest assured that whatever size is there, no problem. But if it is lesser than seven and a half inch in the flaccid state, then really you have to investigate. Consult a professional, see whether it is really shorter, whether the sex hormones are adequate in the blood and then there are a lot many treatments like hormone treatment is there, surgical like implants are put inside or other techniques are there like vacuum therapy is there, uh, with vacuum people can elongate, massage treatment is there. So, so many treatments are there to elongate but otherwise in most of the cases treatment is not necessary. In one research it was found that actually when they were taken for surgery and when they were explained the risk of the surgery then they refused surgery and they said whatever is the length they are happy no problem. See whenever a person comes I ask him how many children you have got? He said I have got two children one daughter and one son. I said how can you have a children you have children if you have a smaller penis how can a smaller penis produce two children? No, 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 that is not the case, he says. I think that the penis is small. So, I said, you are thinking about it. But actually, if the penis would have been smaller than the normal, and if you are not a male, then you would not have produced the children. Then they get convinced. So, nothing to worry. If you like this video, please share, subscribe our channel, like. Thank you very much.